children do not learn languages faster than adults. It has been long believed that children can learn a second language much faster than an adult. They say that their brains are like sponges and soak up everything around them. Well, I'm here to tell you in this video that that is a big fat lie. Greetings, it's the rude girl, Nelly Nelly. Yeah, hot like fire, sweet like chocolate in your belly belly. Hello everyone, I'm Chanel and welcome to my channel. As you can see, I've renamed the channel. I want to broaden my content while still maintaining all of the topics that I already talk about. Also, this year I'll be restarting the travel group called Travel with Chanel, where you, my subscribers, and me, Chanel, we go to another country together for a few days and experience the culture, language, and food all like locals do. Spaces will be limited for this trip, so if you'd like more information, please DM me your email on Instagram, or you can leave it in the comment section. Then when tickets are available, I'll send you an email on where and how you can purchase them. Now, language. Learning another language, as many of you are doing right now, you know can be challenging. But when you see immigrant families, you tend to see young children speaking English with little to no issue, while the parents are struggling to pull simple phrases or sentences together. Or English-speaking children who are learning another language seem as though in a matter of months or even weeks, they can say practically anything in their target language. I'm here to tell you that perception on children being able to learn another language faster than adults is just that, a perception. It's not reality. What people fail to realize is children, especially those who have moved to another country and is attending school and living daily life, get an enormous amount of exposure to the language and have thousands of interactions each day that contribute to their language bank, adding on different and complex variations of the language. While adults, on the other hand, tend to learn statically either in a classroom or in front of a smartphone or a computer that dishes out curated situations or conversations with small amounts of variations. We're often tired from work or have no motivation to study where children are essentially forced to interact with the environment around them. So simply put, adults who are learning another language don't get enough exposure and variety in their target language. <laughs> Another factor that people tend to look over is that children, especially eight and under, are literally still developing their language skills in their mother tongue. So brain development can be a benefactor for adults because our brains are developed. Well, most of us. <laughs> children are literally still processing information that we as adults already have. Adults tend to outperform children in language when given a more even language strategy, especially due to adults' life experience and complex phrases, we're able to handle more rather than children using more simple terms and the lack of situational experiences they've been through. Also, kids just use simpler words. Just take a look at this clip of kids describing what prison food is like. If you had to eat this every day, what would you think? Is this like all they eat? Or is there like Taco Tuesday? What do you know about prison? Prison. You go in there if you do something that's not okay. It's a bad place. They have bad food there. I don't think prisoners need to have the best, most fanciest food. Well, we are going to find out because you are trying prison food from around the world. All right, Nicholas, open your eyes. Eek. You want to dig in? Yeah, but where's the fork? In this prison, the inmates actually eat their food with their hands. Wait, with my hands? Then you mix it all together. <laughs> Good. Do you ever eat your food with your hands? Never. In this country, there's a bunch of stuff that you can get in trouble for that we might think is kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. They really don't like kissing in public. Kissing in public, not a crime. 
So you can either go to prison or sometimes they'll give you 80 lashes. Is that like with a belt? Oh my gosh. I don't know about that one. That, that sounds a bit torturing. Do you think giving someone like unhealthy or gross food is torture in a way? If I ate this every day, it'd make me pretty crazy. I can never eat this every day. Where'd all the cake go? I think you ate all the cakes, Lane. Now compare that to these adults who are taste testing different college student ramen recipes. This looks like mine. They added chicken to it, so that's a different spin. It's very creative looking. It smells good. Hmm, oh, who made this? I'm being serious, like I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Like, I don't like it at all. It's salty, like, are you trying to kill me? <laughs> oh my God, this is really, this is good. It's kind of like regular pasta. And then like chicken, they seasoned it well. It's like, why are the noodles so mushy? I'm a texture person, so I feel like the consistency of the noodles is a little weird with the chicken, because the chicken is firm and like the noodles are really soft. This shit look dry as hell. There's no way this is fancy ramen. Look, it's a clump. <laughs> this is dry and crunchy. It's like a bowl of breadcrumbs. Um, is that a hair? No, no, I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm playing. Could you imagine? Shut down the studio. Yo, uh-uh. <laughs> What? Yeah, I don't know. It's a lot of chunks in here. I could literally pick this up with my fingers. There we go. No, 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 no. I can't take another bite. This tastes like somebody tried to put some cheeses in there. Is that cheese? Where did they go wrong? I don't know. It's everything for me. It's everything for me. I don't like the seasoning. The consistency is weird. <laughs> Go, what do you mean when they go wrong? They went wrong by waking up and deciding to make it. They went wrong by cooking, period. Sis, we need to talk. A bro, whoever. My mama told me that if I don't have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. So I'ma just leave it at that. Did you see in that second video, the adults were able to go more in depth with their opinions and even sometimes draw from past experiences. Young children typically don't do that. It's the same when speaking in your target language. Adults have more to add in the conversation than children do in most cases. Now, children aren't total losers when it comes to language learning. They do have us adults beat on one thing, accents. We adults just suck at perfecting our accent. Well, uh, not me, because I'm a Jedi master in accents. <laughs> it's just give, don't hate, okay? <laughs> but typically, children's developing brains are able to distinguish slight differences in language, where adults just don't quite recognize them as easily. Okay, okay, so kids can speak with better accents than adults. Whoop de doo! <laughs> but I bet you can't say super fragile caloristic espiala jokes. Just okay, just kidding. <laughs> Children and adults both can learn languages at an exponential rate, but the amount of exposure and variety of the exposure is what will make or break your language learning experience and effectiveness. For tips on how to learn a language, check out this video here. And make sure to comment below what are your language learning methods? Have you tried to learn a language as a child? Are you already multilingual? What was your experience like? And guys, I am dropping my newest Spanish single called No Sabes. I am so excited to finally be dropping this single. It'll be available March 30th. It's now available on pre-save and pre-order on Spotify, Apple Music, all the streaming platforms. So make sure to click the link below to save it to your playlist. And it's gonna be so amazing. This is my first time writing a Spanish song. My Spanish skills have developed crazy, like so amazing over these past few years from living in Spain to living in Colombia, from traveling to Dominican Republic, Mexico, so many different places, Costa Rica, so many different places. And now I'm learning French. 
uh, I'm planning my trip to France soon. I don't know, man. French is a little more difficult, so we'll see how that goes. But for now, I'm singing in Spanish now. So please definitely check out my newest Spanish single called No Sales. I am so excited to share it with you guys. Please make sure to share, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Hasta luego! <laughs>